sentinel search okay in this algorithm we are adding one extra value at the end of our list here we are adding value at the end of list and this additional entry at the end of list is known as a sentinel value okay a sentinel value is a one who presents guarantees the termination of a loop that process structure okay we are doing the algorithm and either target is found or last element is compared we will stop let's see the pseudo code for this here is your sentinel search list list must contain the elements last index of the last element target contains the data to be located in this is location address of index in calling algorithm see here we are adding the last element the target element at the end of list means last plus one last is our index to the last element in the list and we are last plus one means we are adding this target at the end of list set looker to zero okay then means initial value is zero then loop target not equals the list of looker okay kab tak find karne wale hai hum jab tak ye hamara target nahi milta tab tak tab tak increment of counter increment this looker initially zero we are increment this looker then end loop If looker less than equals to last, अगर पहले ही मिलता है हमें end position से तो set found to true and send the uh, set the location to looker means set this address. Else uh, it returns the false and set location to last. And then end if here and return found. Okay. And then end probability search. Let's see the uh, coding for this. When we are using this, here we are returning either true or false. So it will return the boolean value. So boolean sentinel search here is a key. We can use in this way also. We can use this also and this also. Okay. Here key is equals to roll number of n. Okay, means the last location because we are using this i equals to zero to n minus one, you know, less than n. But here we are setting this key at the end of list. And till the this roll number of i not equals to c, then find till this and increment the count. And here, if count returns true, if not returns false. It is just an example. Next is a probability search. Probability search means what? Here, the most probable search element at the beginning of the array and the least probable at the end. Okay, where we are using this. It is especially useful when relatively few elements are the targets for most of the searches. So let's see the pseudo code for this. See, here is the same like the previous pseudo code: list, last, target, and location. Okay, must contain at least one element. Last is index to the last element. Target is the contains the data to be located, and location is address of index in calling algorithm. See, find target in a list. If target in a list is present, then the set found to true. Set location to index of the element containing the target. Okay. Set the location. Okay. Then if target after the first element, at that time we need to move the element containing the target up one location. Okay. Move this element because our definition of probability search is most probable search element at the beginning. So. We are moving this up. Then in if here else else set found to false. Otherwise return found and in probability search. Our last one type is ordered list search. When a list is ordered, at that time we are using the binary search most probably. But we can use this linear search for the ordered list. Okay. If list is a small, we are using this ordered list search. Okay, here it is not necessary to search to the end of the list to determine that target is uh, within a list or not. Okay, we can stop when the target becomes less than or equals to the current element. Let's see the example. Actually, we are using this for the linked list, ordered list. Here, list, last, target, and location. See. If target less than the last element in the list, if this target, this is your target, is less than the last element in the list, find the first element less than or equals to the target. Okay, first compare first element with the last element of the array, then find the first element less than or equals to target, 
and then set location to index of element L. Otherwise, set location to the last. Okay, and then A if. If target in list set found to true, otherwise return the false. And then end if and return found. In this way, we can perform this different searching algorithm on data structure array. Thank you.